Um, oh, we're getting attacked by bear. I'm Tired77, or Tyler, on Roblox. Uh, I've been here since 2008, and the Wild West, my biggest project, was an accelerator project in 2018. My girlfriend and I are actually, we started our internship together. This is the product of that. Uh, and then we found our other team members who we live with now. We, we all live together. So you and your girlfriend both interned at Roblox at yeah. the same time? Yeah. No way. Does she code or what does she do specifically in the game? Uh, she does all the modeling and building, all the art assets, basically. <laughs> How do I spawn a horse? <laughs> Hold on. Okay, so for those who haven't played this game, could you just explain what it is? Like, what's the objective of this game? What What are you supposed to do? So it's kind of open-ended. It's a little bit like Jailbreak, almost, if I had to compare it to something. But obviously in the Wild West, you have a lot of different roles that you can pick and choose from, basically. You can be a, a sheriff, uh, and you can go, like, hunt outlaws, or you can be an outlaw and go rob trains and banks and stuff, or other players. And then for people that don't want to do PvP, you can also just go around the world and mine. There's a ton of caves to explore. Or a lot of different landmarks where you can can mine ore and you, uh, do, you can hunt animals and get their pelts and sell them in the city. So what's the first thing you'd recommend like a new player to do? This game is still very early access. It's, it's still very experimental. Right. So a lot of that guidance isn't there. But usually what I tell people for making money at least, which is how you get like better weapons, better items, is mining. There's a mine near the town and this is actually a safe zone over here. Am I lagging or are you? No, I am teleporting. Teleporting. Okay. Uh, if you go to the general store, you can buy a pickaxe. I think you can only buy a tier three. Because I think you have. Oh, I have a thousand. I have a thousand bucks. No, I have a thousand bucks. You yeah, can buy a okay. tier three. Yeah. Uh, if you hit B, it'll open up your inventory. Equip. Different ores will require different tiers of pickaxes. Higher tier pick pickaxes will also mine more quickly. Yeah, you have a chance of picking up diamonds or rubies or any other uh, gemstones from any ore deposit. Uh, now we're outside of the mine, so we can just hop back to town and sell those. Uh, what made you go with the more low poly look rather than a realistic look? We considered doing something like super realistic. Oh, we're getting attacked by bear. Oh, no way. Oh. Holy crap. <laughs> uh. Okay. Um, uh, oh my god. Uh, <laughs> I, I died. Right. No, I can get up. Oh, no, I died. Well, you didn't tell me there were like, legitimate <laughs> animals that kill you. Yeah, yeah, there's tons of different animals in this game. We have alligators in the swamp, we have bears, um, we have deer, which don't attack you, and then we have bison. Do the bison attack you? Yeah, so all the animals attack you. Some have different behavior than others. Some are more skittish and some are more territorial. The gators are very territorial, but they'll always attack you. And then each animal also has uh, slightly different behavioral traits too. So some might be more oh. skittish than others. Right. Yeah. I'm currently chasing down a, a bank robber. <laughs> We're in the waterfall right now. Oh, I killed him. Circling back to the, the other question though about low poly aesthetic. We considered doing a more realistic style at first. The two main reasons why we chose this style are probably performance for one. Um, less polygons to render is going to be more performant, of course. And then the other one would probably have to just be basically production costs. Um, it's a lot more time and money to create more realistic styles. So it, it just made it so we could like bust out a lot of assets more quickly. Um, and then I guess the third reason would have to be we think that this style fit better with the Roblox avatars because we also considered going with our own avatars, just like our own custom characters too, but we, we just didn't think it was worth it. And let's talk about some of the specific game, I guess, mechanics. So obviously there's a lot of stuff going on in this game, and I really like the animations that you guys put into it. Can you just give us kind of a behind the scenes of what it looked like to create this game? Yeah, honestly, this game has been pretty much nothing but a huge tech demo for all of us. Kind of more realized and did a lot better than we were expecting. But it really was just a, a tech demo and like a, a passion project from the start. The cool thing about this game is like one, it's it's really the, the world is really detailed and uh, open ended and has a lot to do in it, which we're really proud of. But the other thing is that there are so many systems in this game that are basically completely custom made. The ragdoll 
Lasso system, we had to basically create our own physics replicator and like joint replicator system. Like the animation handler is, is all completely custom made. Characters are, are, are all completely like custom replicated. Without getting into too much technical detail, we had to recreate a lot of systems that Roblox already had done for you, mostly for, in some cases, performance reasons, but also just to make things smoother and less choppy. Like our Lasso system wouldn't be as cool, it wouldn't be as smooth if we just relied on on default Roblox physics replication because in a way it's kind of like locked to like 30 hertz in terms of like how it appears. Yeah, I'm gonna attack by a, an alligator at the moment. I'm trying not to <laughs> distract you. Why is it so fast? And it literally sh it flung me and another dude. Yeah, we buffed the speed of the alligators a while ago because they were too slow, and now they're just oh. now they're just ripped. For robbing banks, it's, it kind of works a little bit like jailbreak, I think. Um, you just pick the lock. On a full server of people, this is really hard usually because there's a lot of cops and sheriffs or whatever that will come down here and just arrest you. On, on everyone's screen, there's a marker or two of someone who just robbed something, and it lasts for like a minute or something. They got a $120 bounty. Uh-oh. Uh <laughs> oh, did he know we were out there? Yeah. A lot of them will wait for you. We still have a lot of goals and like kind of an unrealized vision for this game. Right now, base building, like being able to build your own home is a big one that we think will change the dynamic of the game entirely for the better. And then also factions. Something interesting is that there have been like tons of community made factions, like unofficial factions in our Discord. Yeah, we have like close to 30,000 members in our Discord right now. There have been tons of like community made, just unofficial factions created for the game and, and no real way to like support we haven't really supported them in game yet, but we're going to soon. So there's going to be uh, like cross server um, factions where you can invite people and join people. It'll also tie directly into base building and like territories and stuff. What's your personal mission on Roblox? What's the end goal for you? I'd say my mission is to build a long-term like, sustainable career off of it. I don't want the end of my journey to be the Wild West. I, I love this game and I love its community, but it's not necessarily what I want to be known for. I definitely want to move on to bigger things once this game's in a good state. Hold well, on, I'm gonna help. <laughs> um, and... <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you So much gratitude. Um, continue, continue with what you're saying. My, my goal and my vision right now is to complete the Wild West. There, there's still a lot that we want to do with the game that we haven't done yet. So we really want to finish the game and kind of make it into what we dreamed it would be two years ago, which we've done a great job at so far, but we, there's still a long way to go. Yeah.